the public don't ever see failure. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, it's good. It's a monument to uh, creative failure. Very good. Thank you very much. <laughs> Artists have them in their studios or they destroy them themselves. You never really get to see it. So it's kind of intriguing for whatever reason you want to get rid of it. But not all artists want to throw their works in the bin, so sometimes they ask somebody else to throw their work mm. in the bin. Mm. They don't all like, kind of, because it's quite public going yeah. up all the stairs mm. and, and doing it. But yeah. when you speak to artists, on the whole, they feel relieved when they've done it. It's now buried, of course. The, it's disappeared. Yes. So it's, uh, it's kind of, yeah, it's, it's over in a way, which is nice. It's the bin. That's good. That's a good bin sound. Well, I'm an artist. I can just fetishize about what goes in the bin. So um, it's good once things start to fall on top of each other and shatter and splinter off. Well, when it makes a really good crashing sound, that's when you really think you've really destroyed it. That was kind of like a bouncing bust. See, look, now it, the people have got something to look at as well. Maybe they'll get the uh, iconoclast bug. They'll all have their own art bins. In London, you can drop litter on the floor. You can cross a road when there's a red man. But here, you feel it's impolite. You don't want to offend anybody, so you just kind of fit into their system. I'm sure you just want to rip all your clothes off and run down the high street screaming Eureka sometimes. I mean, because I think it's, it can be oppressive. I like it here, to be honest, because I moan about London being filthy and, you know, going to the park the other day and I'm with the dog and I, all there is is ten drunks in the park right, and me and my dog and it's like, what's going on? I'm paying for this. <laughs> I think I'd be quite happy in here. Ah. Of course, you know, we asked the many artists to join this project. The first of all, they said yes, very easy. But then they think about the, uh, which artwork you know, can be here. And then they, they very much hesitated to to join this, you know, the project. You know, for me, that kind of a behavior is very much interesting for me. Oh, thank you very much. Much please. <laughs> and this is a little bit expensive one. I hope expensive one is important. No garbage. Yeah. My piece, my drawing, and collectors. Oh.
ta ta ta. Feels good. I feel Gordon be even more relieved. So it's kind of multi-story. It's um, a lot of bungalows stuck on each other. It's supposed to be for uh, Olympic uh, Commission, part, you know, the, where the orbit is now. They could have had a lot of stacked up bungalows. I like the idea that people witness things and it's there one moment and then it's gone the next mm -hmm. and then people talk about it. I'm going to bash the bin. <laughs> it all gets cleared away and it all goes to landfill. One more for the road. Let's throw Joe in the bin. I really feel like I'm part of our bin now. That's very sad. All those, all those shards of glass over, over Joe's face. You have to fail. You have to fail. And so um, it's just obviously what one does with those failures. Um, and this is obviously the, per the perfect repository for it, for all, for all their failures. I'm always humbled by when artists want to take part. Because I always ask myself, would I, if I didn't know me and it wasn't anything to, if this project was to do with a number, would I take part? I'm not sure I would. You know, because artists, it's what makes them them, making artworks. It's all tied up with themselves, and they find it very hard, as I do, to separate the two things. Yeah, I think it's a very generous uh, gesture. That's what I'm humbled by. Chris Packham discovers that snakes do a whole lot more than just slither around at floor level. The Wonder of Animals is coming up next here on BBC Four. And then at nine, Natural World meets a rather special wolf. Fall for the leader of the pack 